by Press Unit. Dash. Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, on Thursday, January 12, 2023, closed its case in the money laundering charge against former Governor of Niger State, Muazu Babangida Aliu and two others, Tonko Biji and Umar Nasko, before Justice Mikhail Aliu of the Niger State High Court. The trio are facing prosecution by the EFCC for alleged criminal breach of trust, conspiracy and diversion of ecological funds to the tune of over 2 billion naira. At today's sitting, Prosecution Council for Rukh Abdallah, relying on an application dated October 24 and filed on October 26, 2022, closed the case of the prosecution. Addressing the court, he said the prosecution through the testimonies of witnesses and documents tendered in the course of the trial had established a prima facie case against the defendants to warrant them to open their defense. The first defendant was the executive governor of Niger State. It presupposes therefore that by virtue of his position, he held the resources of his state in trust. A public office is a position of trust. Under the watch of the first accused person, monies were transferred from an account domiciled in government house, the monies were diverted for personal gains. These facts have been sufficiently shown to the court through the prosecution witnesses and exhibits, he said. Counsel to the first defendant, Ola Dija Ayodele, San, however informed the court that the prosecution failed to establish the crime and moved for a no-case submission. The prosecution has been unable to defend the charge. I wish to draw your lordship's attention to state that there was no evidence of the crime. We are at a stage where we will look at the evidence. They are saying they have established a prima facie case, but my prayer is that they have not established a prima facie case. Also counsel the second defendant, Ibrahim Isiaku, San, informed the court that the defense had entered a no-case submission, adding that the second defendant is standing trial for two counts, one and three, conspiracy and criminal breach of trust. It was required of the prosecution to establish that the second defendant intentionally aided the first defendant to dishonestly convert certain sums of money for the use of the first accused person. The second charge relating to conspiracy cannot be sustained, we urge the court to sustain our submission, uphold a no-case submission, he said. Counsel to the third defendant, Maman Mike Osman, San, also informed the court that he has filed a no-case submission and prayed the court to discharge the third defendant. Responding to the submissions of the defense counsel, Abdallah urged the court to dismiss their no-case submission and direct them to enter their defense. Justice Mikhail, thereafter adjourned till February 16, 2023 for ruling on the application. At Views Exclusive Rights, Press Unit, Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, January 12, 2023.